Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your tarot reading here for what is your current story. There are three piles here today, so let's get into it. I'm going to do a Celtic cross reading here, just like my signs readings, and I'll go around again with five cards. Then I'll go into a love reading if there is a love spread. I'm going to do one for all three. If you have a person, it may resonate with you. If you don't, it probably won't, okay? So let's get started here, pile one. What is Pile One's story here? What is their current situation? I'm gonna see a Celtic cross for Pile One, guys. The rain just got serious, the hangman. You may be on the fence here about a career decision, a money move, or some kind of big purchase that has to do with investing in yourself, your career. Maybe this, some change up in your office space or workplace has you um, viewing a bigger opportunity on the horizon. Maybe it's like you already see this as a success, but the time has come now to make changes to welcome this uh, big responsibility. It is something that you've been manifesting for a while, maybe the last eight to nine months, eight to nine years. Uh, this next chapter, this next move, this next responsibility is all up to you. And I'm seeing you're dealing with the time right now, the calm before the storm. Okay. Things are going well in your home life. I see um, there may recently have been some kind of drama that you've avoided. You were able to talk your way out of it. Um, but things are going very well at your home. There could have been a recent uh, party. Maybe there was someone who came as a guest but uh, tried to cause trouble. Or it came off that way. Even if they were being innocent or something, it came off that way. It was a lot of, uh, a lot of energy at that party or that gathering. And... There was a, quite a cleanup effort. Okay, so people may be seeing you on the fence. Maybe you have disclosed this to one to two people or a couple of people, um, but I'm seeing one to two for most of you. One or two people you've told about the two different pathways you could take this career uh, decision, right? Maybe one decision is to move or one decision is to stay. Um, there are two different job descriptions, two different roles that you could play or two different ways you could take the idea, all right? I'm not seeing if it be two different ideas. I'm seeing it's the same idea, but the application is different if you stay, the application is different if you go. I see all in all, you feel very successful. People are singing your praises around. You may not feel that way because you could be drained. You're physically taxing yourself. You're moving a lot uh, these days. You're just out and about all day, getting things done, getting chores done inside and outside of the house. I feel like uh, all this running around and being caught up is uh, really taking its toll on you mentally. You're, you're getting time to rest, but I'm seeing that you're unable to make the most of it because the very next day you're up and at them all over again. So uh, really busy these days, power one. <clears throat> so people see you may be on the fence about this, but I feel like you're going to do what's in the best interest of your home, your lifestyle. Your wish come true. What's closer to the wish come true is what you're going to do. So for those of you, if doing this abroad was your goal, you're going to be doing this abroad. For those of you that um, your goal was to make more, if somehow that's possible locally, you're going to, you're going to stay, excuse me, you're going to stay locally. Okay, so... Your hopes and fears here, or the thing that you're anticipating that could uh, bring in conflict for you is the traveling itself. Maybe this is a country or land that, or market that you've never um, been a part of. So the uncertainty of that does uh, have you question it a little bit, but I do see for the most part, you're going to go and make this work here. I'm seeing that you have a stable plan. You have a proper plan, a proper strategy to uh, increase your network. And you're going to go through with it. 
you have possibly already agreed uh, with your team on most of the formalities. So that's what you're going to be doing. I'm seeing, uh, okay, so Pawan, you're gonna have a gigantic opportunity. It's already on its way, okay? Or you're already on your way towards it. This is the calm before the storm in the sense that these may be your last couple of days or weeks to rest up or deal with the normal that has been normal up to this point. Okay, let's go around again. Let me see a five, small five card spread for you. Pile one. What is pile one's current story? You're the one spearheading this decision. You had many different offers here. Maybe some people were trying to buy you out, buy your company or something. You've had to say no to all of these options because none of them were giving you a better deal here. And I feel like you are having to balance a lot here. Balancing a lot between people. People that are asking you questions, people that come and demand things from you. I'm seeing you put them all to rest here. And you're getting ready to go out again into the world uh, by yourself, right? By yourself or with your team. But the point is, I feel like you have a lot of baggage. You have a lot of either family members or past friends or just people around you that I see talk around in circles. They have a lot of clutter that they say. Uh uninformed opinions or just plain ignorant things to say and you've made a you you've developed the skill to mute it like you've developed the talent of hearing what you need to hear and not letting their clutter affect your heart space or your mental health right I see something is going to be revealed to you when you travel to the new place with the High Priestess and the Fool. A new ability, a new child, a new... A brand new idea. I'm seeing it in that way. A brand new sense for life. You know, you're going to be revitalized in your naivete about the location. Maybe it'll just feel so fresh. Um, it'll be a totally brand new and uplifting experience here. I'm seeing you revitalize an emotional component uh, to your mindset, to your lifestyle, okay? Yeah, I guess you're bored. Maybe you're from a very urban area and you're kind of tired of that. Maybe you're going to move to a place where it has more rural cities, towns. You can't call them city anymore, right? So a more rural scenery, right? Okay. I'm saying being there is going to be giving you new ideas, okay? Some kind of blockage is going to be removed from your mind and you'll get a lot of more different ideas. Must be the pressure level in that air, right? Okay, so now, if you have a romantic partner, this is going to be your energy versus their energy. Let's get into it right here. So, pile one's romantic reading. Let's see. Energy check-in, pile one. They could be a Virgo or Gemini here, or Aries with the Magician. Okay, three for you. Five of Swords, Ten of Cups, the King of Wands, Ace of Swords, the Lovers, Six of Pentacles, the Outcome, the Empress, with the Knight of Swords. I'm seeing they're an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You are getting closer to somebody here. You want to skew it more in your favor. I'm saying you feel like this is your selfish desire to win this person. I feel like they, this person may have opened communication with you recently. You want this person all to yourself here. Ten of Cups. They may not be aware of your full intentions here, but I feel like this person was coming towards you with communication. They may be going through a pretty rough time now. I see like they may have communicated over some frustration with you, but there's some energy here going back and forth between you two. You may have an interest in defending this relationship or starting a family with this person. You may want to 
have a child, they get the lovers, you got the Ten of Cups, and the Empress is the outcome. So there could be a pregnancy in your near future here because uh, I do see that there's a lot of sexual attraction here between you and this Gemini here. Um, or this Aquarius. I feel like this is a situation that would grow. You two both have uh, keen communication skills and you enjoy each other's co company, ideas, and conversation. This person wants to give you something or they may offer to hang out with you in a place where money is exchanged. So they may ask you out or take you out or spend money on you or offer for you to spend money on them, something like that. I do feel like this person does enjoy communicating with you. They think you're very sharp and intelligent. You may think this person could be selfish at times, but you also have your own selfish designs for this person. I feel like you're not really hiding it that much. I feel like this person also knows that you have a selfish side, but you're not hiding it that much, but you may be hiding uh, your attraction level. So I'm seeing that you do, you can see yourself committing to them, but you haven't told them that really. And this person sees the same thing to you towards you. I, I I feel like you get the feeling this person is attracted to you, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. Uh pile one. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys. See ya. Pick a pile.com. They're pile two. So this is gonna be your reading here for what is your current story. Alright. We're going to do a Celtic cross reading here first. Then we're gonna go around again and do a five card reading. And finally, we're going to do a relationship checkup from you and your person. Okay, so let's get into it. This is what I'm my pal to. Pal two's current story. Pile two. Pile two, you could be receiving a lot of accolades here, um, very stubborn decisions that you've been making. Stubborn in a good way. Stubborn meaning you may have been really focused, like hyper-focused on achieving something and you, you didn't take no for an answer, you didn't listen to anybody, you kept persisting in some kind of goal-directed behavior here and it was getting really uh, tiring and difficult for you. But I feel like you pushed through and just now recently you may have gotten some kind of accolades or some recognition of success, uh, all right? So you've had to deal with a lot of ups and downs here in this recent time, um, maybe even when it comes to your emotional health, could have been a relationship in the past or some kind of family abandonment or criticism that you've gotten. You felt like everyone was against you, but I feel like now people are giving you your props because you, you turned out to be right or you were the sure thing. Like, let's say if someone gambled on you, then they would have won a lot of money, right? Because you, your hunch was correct. Your self-belief was in the right place. It was sincere here because I see that you pulled off the project and now you're taking like a lot of time to relax. Or maybe you spent some time out here partying a bit, but then I see you close up again and go back to your, go back to the drawing board. I feel like you're taking all this time to shut yourself off from the outer world again and uh, go in spiritually. Some of you could be studying here or going for a higher degree in learning, or you could be earning some new certification or getting married. Some of you is getting married. But I do feel like you may have had some time to spend with your friends and recharge your batteries here. Some people here think you may be sneaky or you're hiding something, something, uh, something malicious. Or they have that uh, feeling that you may do something malicious because you stay mostly away from people, okay? How you're seeing yourself is that you're leaving smaller pleasures behind. I feel like you're doing this for a bigger goal all over again. You're getting right, you're get centering yourself after your recent success, right? You're centering yourself again and cutting yourself off from short-term pleasures that may get your eyes off the prize. Am I making sense? So because of that, you know what to do. 
and some maybe some people around you, some haters or some competitors say they call you crazy or something, or they assume that you live under a rock. But I see that you're just really hyper focused on what you want. You don't even care what anyone else wants. You want what you want. You know what you want. So you're fixing yourself to go and get it. And the outcome here is that there is going to be a balance in how you approach the new goal. It could lead to a very busy life for you, but you're someone very seasoned with riding the wave, right? You're not, you're not taken by surprise by the workload. You're just finding new ways to fight your fatigue. You're finding new ways to stand up to competition. All right, let's go around again. Pile two. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Strength, the Moon, and the Seven of Cups here. Yes, you've been investing in something with all your time, with all your effort, with your energy and your cash toward a professional goalpost and goal. You're making things happen. You're making heads turn. You're making heads spin and tur turn until they spin and get dizzy. And you are grounding yourself, making sure that you do not get dizzy or enticed by all that glitters you may have recently stepped into a higher financial zone and you're just holding back on spending because you have the itch to spend more but you don't want to fall a uh, victim to the incline in lifestyle just because you got a raise you don't want to incline in your spending right so you're holding that off you're not you're not trying to show people that you have the means right i feel like you are holding a little bit more than two secrets uh there are some secrets to your knowledge there are secrets to your tricks there are secrets to how you feel um and i don't feel like you're gonna disclose that you yourself are finding more nuance to your feeling and you're learning how to become a new you in the process. So even, let's say every two, three days you upgrade, right? That's not satisfying you. Every two days after that, you even become unrecognizable to who you were one week ago. It's like a real race against yourself that you're playing and it's working out, but here and there, you, your batteries run dry and you find yourself recluse again to fix it. I do feel you're going to get justice in a situation that has been plaguing you for maybe the last two years, two to nine years, how are you, two to 11, okay, 11, two years, the last two years, there's certain, there's a certain uh, karmic injustice, you feel like you've been done wrong uh, two years ago, any time within the last two years, there was something big that happened that changed your life in a way. You want to see the cogs turn. You want to see that person pay or you want to see your life change in some major way where you feel satisfied. And I feel like material possessions play a part in it. Maybe you were very much so shunned for like not uh, being of a certain um, tax bracket. Maybe you're pushing yourself now to become very influential and astute opulent right okay that's what i'm seeing here I'm seeing you're wickedly successful nowadays and you're hiding it a little bit because you when you want your final form to show up and then you want to get revenge on your hater in some kind of way i feel like that's what it is okay pal so if you have someone that is um in your life right now romantically so we're going to see your you to them them to you okay pile two Pile 
pound two to them. And them to pound two. Hey, sir, guys. Pile two to their person. Their person to pile two. Page of Wands, the Empress, Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups, Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, Page of Wands. I see this person likes you, but maybe you've recently had some kind of horrible situation here. You could have divorced your partner. Um, this person is very distraught over this. You may have wanted kids with this person, but I feel like you have changed the dynamic here. You've called it quits with them because this person may have betrayed you one or two too many times, right? This is someone you fell in love with their looks here and you did want it all with them. You did see this growing, but you had a high faith for this connection here. And, but this person, uh, mm, this person wanted to uh, keep their options open and their head was in the clouds over attention. So now you're both are single away from each other. This person does have new love here for you, but they romanticize, uh, the heartbreak uh, that they lost you. But if you were to get back with this person, it'd be the same shit all over again. But this person spending their days drinking away, maybe um, feeling sorry for themselves that uh, they lost a good thing. But I'm not seeing this person develop the courage to admit they were wrong ever. That's like one of the reasons you love them. Uh, very egotistic and very... Um, they would say anything in emotion, in the heat of emotion, they would say anything negative towards you just to like, they, they couldn't get points to beat you in an argument. So what they do instead is just inflict emotional damage on you and you had enough of that shit. You found this person very immature toward the end and you called it quits. Even though you did want to give this person the world, they didn't deserve it. And even it took you a long time to see that. All right, um, that's just the energy here. This, this may be my forlorn path. I love you, Pile 2. I'll see you guys later, right? Pickapile.com. Pile 3, this is going to be your reading here for your current story. We're going to do a Celtic cross here for you first. Then we're going to go around again, grab five cards and see your reading. Then we're going to grab a you and your person reading with three cards each, all right? Let's get into it. Pile 3. What's going on with my pile three? The Hermit, Ten of Cups, Judgment. Let's see what we got. So, you could be holding it secret. You may be wanting to propose to someone. You're keeping it top secret. You're keeping your idea top secret here. You may have had a choice between two. I feel like the competition is still going on here. There are two different women or men that you prefer over the rest. One could be a Sagittarius here. One could be a Virgo here. So you have these ideas of these fantasies about uh, settling down with this person in particular. You find them both dangerously attractive. Um, you've tried to make sense out of this connection. See, you know, these Celtic cross dreams are not love-based. It's just, this is what is pile three is main energy here um the other two were not focused on that but this pile is okay so what i'm seeing here is um there's a lot of planning that goes into this that has been going into this maybe even since september right now is april this is a timeless reading so do the math of how many months that is um i guess that is uh seven months so for those of you that would be seven months ago I feel like you're in a good place here mentally and spiritually. You're trying to manifest this in your will, but I do feel like there's still competition here. Maybe you haven't seen enough from either of them about who is the more distinguished partner. 
so you're taking your time with the decision you are determined though you feel very positive about this um you're taking a lot of time for yourself and self-healing so you're making sure that you are in the right space to have a partnership here or have a marriage so that's what i'm seeing is your main focus here is, is keeping yourself nourished nourished and nurtured so that when you do settle down that you will be bringing your best uh, maybe you've known because of toxic relationships in the past where maybe someone wasn't bringing their a game or settling for when both of you were not using each like both of you were using each other's energy to feel whole so i feel like you realize that's not sustainable so you want to make sure the person you're with is healed and you yourself are bringing that side of you okay uh i feel like maybe others around you may not understand that you're falling back uh in passion um but others may have seen maybe seen you as separated and feeling like oh why don't you get some get with someone maybe you've had some pressure from family or friends to tell you oh settle down but but you you deep inside do have someone in mind it's just like maybe a secret or you haven't developed things along to where you can talk about it so you don't feel comfortable sharing with it you, you just feel like if you talk about it now it could be like a one-sided fantasy type thing so you're taking it slow you're going steady with the interests in your life okay um and if for some of you this isn't like a connection that's romantic it could just be that you are having a wish fulfilled one that is many many so months in the making okay i do see that there's a lot of communication coming in this month to and from you um it is concerning your overall stability okay let's go around again can i see another message here for my Class three. Let me see my pile three. Eight of Cups, Four of Wands, Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, and the Nine of Swords here. Ten of Swords on the bottom. You're walking away from a certain type, certain style of emotional output. Maybe you're finding yourself to be, to come off emotionally unavailable, but that's not the case here. I'm seeing you do have a good heart. You may be um, just doing the best to hold the fort and keep your, your living situation stable. You don't want to actually invite someone to come stay with you yet. It's not something that you want to be reckless about. And I see that you're putting an end to an old way of investment or spending. Some of you could also be quitting drinking. I feel like there was certain tragedies that shifted your perspective and you don't really want to gamble with options here that's not your cup of tea maybe you have a past that you were a flirt but it's not that you made yourself too available some of you may have but i'm saying you're you're picky but you were not picky with who you flirted with but you were picky in general when it came to settling down and you have a more mature way of, of doing this now, but it's not, you, you don't like to get people's hopes up. So I feel like you're more reserved than out there, right? I do feel like maybe even your dating style may, may have been a cause of stress for you in some way or the other in the past. So that's something that you're, you're doing an overhaul of, right? Maybe these two people that you're seeing are close friends. Like you, you develop those friendships and so that is where you can see some kind of hope in a live-in relationship or marriage. But at the time is that you're not rushing things. 
Okay, so let's see the person you're thinking about the most, you and their energy. Let's see about that. <clears throat> three cards to you, three cards to them, and a likely outcome. I agree. And their system. Page of Wands, Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Fool, Two of Wands, and the King of Swords with the Five of Pentacles in the outcome. I feel like there is a lot of communication here going back and forth from you and the Sagittarius, or it could be that uh, they are Scorpio or Aries. I feel like you two have this energy about you that you guys talk a bunch, then you disappear. You talk a bunch, then you disappear. It's getting kind of tiring. It's like this person does want you to chase them in some ways. And you kind of like that. But it's like this is stretched out over a long period of time. And it makes you feel odd about it. But you do feel like this could have a potential future here. <coughs> but I do feel like this person is uh, taking a really long time to reveal any feelings there. They always have a balanced approach to when they communicate with you. It always has some practical meaning or some uh, practical meaning and purpose. It doesn't seem like they're communicating you to you for you in some emotional sense, but I do see that this person does have a lot of hopes riding on you in some way. They have some kind of daydream or fantasy about it. Um, even though when they approach you, they talk... <clears throat> they talk all practicality. Practicality, logistics, plans. Uh, <clears throat> There's like emotion is completely sucked out of the text message or the phone calls, right? And in this outcome, despite you two having good intentions toward each other, it's like this outcome is the same here. You both are feeling a wound or illness in regards to not having someone be available. You both feel ghosted. Just, both of you being stoic toward each other is making you both feel lack. Am I making sense? So this something needs to change. I feel like you both mirror each other in your, in your stance. You both try to appear like you're not needy. But at the same time, this is kind of draining you both. And something about this communication style is draining you both here. And it's got to change. If you two want to get closer, uh, some parts of your ego needs to die in order to, you know, peel back the layer and communicate in a more loving fashion. The rain is going and so am I, okay? Pickapile.com. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for joining me here today. Good luck, guys.